Hi Capricorn! Welcome to my channel as your daily is 12 to the 13 Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Well, that was... Okay, never mind. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you're gonna be looking for the 11, you won't find it as this is gonna be the 12 and 13. Okay. Here we go. Let's begin, Capricorn. Okay. Here we go. Positive. Got here the sun card. Rise and shine, Capricorn. Okay. Well, the sun is in, not in your house, but maybe <laughs> you're just seeing something good right now in the situation that you're in. A very positive energy. Um, they call it healing. They call it growth. Um, this is understanding also the different facets of life that you have gone through. Um, but I feel like this is more of channeling, um, you know, higher wisdom, inner knowing, and a cycle that you have connected with your guides. This is someone also seeking a guru, a teacher, from what I'm seeing here. You found, you know, like any kind of guru, um, like it can be uh, a guru is a teacher who shares wisdom and knowledge to you and enlightens you, you know, in any way. It can even be just a good. Uh, <laughs> Uh, a chef, you know, or something like that, or someone who's yoga, of course. That's that's the most, uh, um, you know, um, most uh, how to say this, easiest way. And, but I just want to explore to you guys that there are different gurus in life, and chances are these are the people who you meet randomly, who gives and shares wonderful messages to you. This is this, or you could be this person. Okay, that's a sun card. Let me see the other person. And this is your understanding that you and your soulmate is going in the same direction. Ooh! I just said soulmate and you got a six of cups. Okay. So this is an energy where someone that you've been wishing, okay, to come back. Because, I, you know, the sun for me is the same as the star card also. They're both stars, right? However, the other one magnifies something. The star illuminates, um, connects destiny. The sun shows you destiny. You understand me? The difference between the, the, the cards. Six of Cups energy, um, you're wishing and waiting for someone to come back towards you. It's a wish granted, of course. Um, this is your soulmate seeing you, when I told you, it's like going the same direction. You're probably um, in the same vibration as them right now. So mutual feelings, mutual understanding, and they're just looking at you like they're, you know, the person that they can be with, okay? Now before you say it's like oh that's so sugar coated. Well some people are having a good life, okay? This is their this is that people. <laughs> oh wow, you're missing this person, you have four and six. You're missing them. Can be um trying to look at the memories, past stuff, you know. This is also requiring you healing if there was some sort of empty cup over here. Um, I feel like your soulmate is trying to connect with you, but you currently you are not in the mood. Because the, the Four of Cups is that you're looking for something, but it's already in front of you. This can be the soulmate or vice versa, okay? Because this is um, not seeing the offer because it's actually there, but there's a level of discontent, okay? Dissatisfaction. That's the Four of Cups. Next to the Six of Cups, okay. Got a Two of Swords. So. With you, when you miss them, the other person is questioning, it's like, well, they're not really showing or seeing appreciation of who I am and what I am in their life, okay? This is a Two of Swords with the Six of Cups. Let me just close this door, guys. Uh -huh. So the Two of Swords with the Six of Cups. So this energy is about, uh -huh. um, they're, they're wanting to, but they have to ask themselves first more emotional um, question, more heartfelt um, question over here. Um, it's interesting because they want to make a decision from the heart, but they don't want to do it from the heart also. So you're with someone who's indecisive about how to take action because they want to be with you, but not to the emotional level, but they feel the emotional level. So this is a person who's trying to hold back, okay, from feeling. Oh, there's the Four of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So this is your energy with this person and you don't like it when they're indecisive because the Queen of Swords, you, you will go direct with the, com with the communication with this person 
you will tell this this is someone you're gonna call out okay because of them being indecisive hmm. have it a world card you have two positive cards these are both yes right if you have a question it was double yes and the world card over here is this is showing uh, Saturn over here okay it's gonna be Saturn and Sun conjunct but besides that you could be dealing with someone from far from you there's distance and the other person is having question how do I make it work with the person if there's distance if there is no distance between the two of you this person question with the world card is the difficult cycle that you guys have gone through have finished and now you guys are about to start all over again okay let me see what's dividing there's a divide the death card mm -hmm. the transformation see like what I told you to start all over again this is what they're in question you have the death and the sun card that's the phoenix rising so meaning ashes to ashes and then you know it's like there were things that supposed to end and it happened and there are supposed things now suppose uh, well it's not supposed to it's about to start because this is finishing the world card is understanding what is karmic between the two of you and a six of cups is that energy um, when you say karma it's life so something in your life with their life has finished and now it's about basically in your court or in their court about how you guys want to proceed that's a death card should you proceed together or should you proceed separate that's basically it also okay so capricorn i'm going to continue this reading as we move forward with these energies everything is down there in the description box have a wonderful wonderful day bye capis